beautiful you. Do you lose your loving feeling with your spouse? Are you and your spouse are growing apart from each other? So what will you do when these things happen? Please continue watching this video. Love, Heal, Believe, the place to be if you want to nourish your heart, mind, body, and spirit for a healthy, happy, and less stressed married life or less stressful married life. I am Dalita Mos Oxman, your certified wellness coach. And today's video, I will share with you the six steps that you can take when you and your spouse are growing apart from each other. But before I continue, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share our channel. Do you remember the song, you've lost that loving feeling, oh, that loving feeling. So you've lost that loving feeling, now it's gone, gone, gone. So things like that happen in, in every couple, I know. And there are times in your relationship, especially when you're married for a long time, that loving feeling that you had at the beginning may dwindle. You may lost it. And if you are not careful, you will, it will put your marriage in jeopardy. And you will just end up that if that feeling that is not there anymore will cost your marriage. So how are you going to rekindle that loving feeling? I know that song is beautiful. I may have not sing it correctly, but it's a beautiful song that you can, you can listen to that song. So it's beautiful. So what are you going to do when this, when the loving feeling is gone? How are you going to rekindle it? So I would like to share this, um, this story. I watched I watch um, Tony Robbins trying to coach or coaching couple, and I invited my husband to watch with me and see what we can learn from that coaching that, that coaching that Tony Robbins did. And these two couples have their problem is they are they they grow apart from each other. One is retired and one is not, and they have different interests. They're doing different things. What I was watching the entire process and how Tony Robbins helped this couple, I started reflecting in my relationship because I looked at my husband and I said, oh my gosh, husband, this couple will be us in the future. I just see myself with it. And you know why? Because my husband and I doesn't spend a lot of time together anymore. And I personally feel when we are off, my husband is doing something else and I am doing something else. Do we do some time together? But most of the time, he, he works a lot and I do work a lot and I, we both working a lot. And we... I personally feel that I lost my connection. And this is how I feel. Watching that, I can see myself in that woman, that Tony, the, the wife that Tony Robin was talking to. And I sat down and I talked, my husband and I were talking right away after that experience. And we tried to make a plan and do things to consciously do things so we will not be we will not grow apart from each other. We will continue to enjoy our time together and our intimate moments together. And so that's what my husband and I were doing. And that is what I'm trying to, uh, what I want to share with you. And, and this is also what I am learning from other people, other couples as well as I try to interview them on how they keep their marriage alive and thriving even if they've been married for so long. So why does couple grow apart? First, they don't spend that time together. And as they say, constant dealings create feelings. And if you are sharing and sharing your moments with your partner, sharing your moments with your spouse, you keep rekindling that intimacy, the feeling of intimacy. But when 
you don't have that, you will lose in touch with each other. Not spending time together will really affect married life your relationship as a couple. And the second one is lack of attention. And this again will go with not spending time together. When you don't spend time together, you don't pay attention to your partner anymore. So sometimes when you've been married for so long, you take each other for granted. When was the last time you ask your husband how he or she feels or your partner how he or she feels? So when was the last time you noticed that there is changes in, in how she looks? Or have you noticed when she did something right, good to you? When was the last time you thanked your spouse because she cooked food for you? And when was the last time you complimented your spouse? Find time. This is like the thing. It's spending time and seeing your partner is very important in a relationship. So the lack of attention will grow, make you grow apart from each other. And then the next one is you are not, they are not open to how they feel and think. Many couples are the wives or the husband try to suppress their feelings because they don't want to offend their partner. But then eventually suppressing how you feel often will lead to misunderstanding and miscommunication you're not being able to open how you really feel and think will cause you to resent your partner I, today i am going to share with you a very important free resource that we created for you to help you when you are feeling that you grow apart from each other so please stay tuned and i'm going to give you um the the resources later and how you can access it so what are you going to do if you grow apart from each other? First is, I want you to share your feelings. Share what you think. Communicate. Communicate it clearly to your partner what you think and feel. And do not play the blame game. So this is one of the things is that we sometimes we need to become aware of as married people that we are not going to blame our partner of things that is not going right in our marriage because always remember there it always take to the tango so there is both of you needs to reflect together on what is going on with your marriage so when you feel that you start to grow apart from each other share what you think and what you feel this is how i did with my husband when i start feeling that oh my gosh, my husband and I doesn't spend time together anymore. And I feel I, I started to lose that connection, emotional connection. I communicated it clearly to my husband until, until what I want, because I love, I know I love my husband so much. Um, second is mention it clearly and tell your husband, tell your partner that you sm is spending time together. I miss spending time with you. And that's what I, I, I keep on saying to my husband, like, I, husband, I miss spending time with you. Every, whenever there's a week that we are not able, because we both of us are busy with work, I will come and it's like, I, I want to spend time with you. Can we block this time? And I want, I want this moment with you. And, and so what, what is it that you want us to do together and we can do it together? So mention it clearly. And that you miss the time that you have together. The third is have a date night. This is very important. And this is something that you, a date night, a date day, a date, uh, as long as you have that date time. Like I say, like a date time where you make it special. And in your date time, you're not going to talk about business or work or problems. But at this time, you're going to spend this rekindling, remembering why you got married in the first place and reminiscing how you fall in love. So this will help rekindle the loving feeling that you had for, you had for each other that started to dwindle. So think about, remember how we met? Remember these things that we did? So remembering all those things and what the things that makes you happy as a married couple. So. 
have that time. It might not be night. It could be day. It could be afternoon. As long as you have those moments together that you and you and just your spouse. If you are you have children, no children. Find someone to watch your kids. You hire someone to spend time with your kids because this particular moment it's just you and your spouse. And then the fourth one is do activities together that you both enjoy. So find what is it that you and your spouse love to do together. Like it's not just you who is enjoying it and you're just your spouse will just tag along. Though it happened, it's very important in our relationship as well that we give and take. So when you want something that you 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 want to see something that your spouse doesn't enjoy it but he will just tag along that is fine once in a while but it should not happen every moment that the only one will just give in with what makes the other person happy so find something that you can do together that you both enjoy and do most of it together especially when you have a date night, or you can do that with your children as well, if possible. Fifth one is forgive. Forgiveness is very important. Remember when you are married, you are married to a person who is not perfect, a person who has limitations. And when you resent what your husband or your wife is doing and you are not able to forgive, it will make your it will make your feeling the loving feeling that you have for your husband die so forgiveness is very important in marriage be ready to forgive your partner and be ready to start all start again and learn from whatever mistakes that you that you've done that he's done and both of you can can talk about it and move forward time to pray together and to worship God together. So I believe in the power of prayer and I believe that a family that prays together and stays together, they stick together because putting God the center of your relationship is very crucial for a strong married life, for a strong bond as a family. So put God first in your relationship and that will help you rekindle that loving feeling that you have for each other because you have the source of love in your means. So you have the origin. You are created because of God's love and you and your partner are put together. That is the design of God that is in your life. And so put God first and put him in the center of your relationship. And there is no greater way of developing and expanding your love for each other than having the source of love in your midst. So those are the things that you can do to help improve your, your relationship, to help you grow together, to, in, to rekindle that loving feeling that you have for each other. And, and again, Another thing that you can do is to use our checklist. So we have our checklist also designed for you if you're struggling, because from time to time we encounter um, problems in our, in our married life. And there are times we don't know what to do. So we created this worksheet called Keep Your Marriage Alive and Fresh. Manage its rough, its rough spot without neglecting yourself. So this worksheet has one intention, and that is for you to, to give you resource, to give you things, strategies that you can do whenever you are experiencing different problems in your marriage, like growing apart from each other or handling finances or when you have different perspectives about raising your children or when you're experiencing stress in your marriage life or whatever it is, and so much more that you encounter in your marriage. So the keep your marriage alive and fresh will have this thing, the strategies that you can take when you are in that situation. So do not forget to download our free resource. It is for you. And this is in this intense to help you grow in your love and your faithfulness and for you to keep rekindling 
that loving feeling that you have for each other as husband and wife. God bless you, beautiful you, and I will see you again for, on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Bye for now.